If you've got an exhaust leak, there's a lot of techniques you can use to fix it. Now, if the exhaust leak is before the catalytic converter, it's gonna be a little more challenging, but I'm gonna show you some real low-cost techniques you can use that'll work like a champ. I'll also go through some techniques that don't work, and I'll explain why they don't work. Now, if you've got a leak before the catalytic converter, you're gonna need to use sodium silicate. This stuff holds temperatures up to 2,000 degrees, but it's brittle. If you put this into a hole or a crack, you're gonna hit a bump and this stuff will come right out. So you gotta know how to work with this stuff. You can find this sodium silicate in a lot of places and it's cheap. This is furnace cement. It's about $4 for this entire tub. So you gotta be able to get this to stick and hold into place. Now we're gonna use this Harbor Freight welder. Now to fix this, you don't have to be a good welder. Now when you see this weld, you're gonna laugh until you hear how quiet it is when we're done here. See, what we're doing here is we're just filling in this hole with little steel balls. This weld is rough, and when you turn on the car, it's gonna be as loud as it was before. But when we apply the silicon silicate to this structure, this structure is gonna give it something to stick to. Just take a look at this hole. So I ground it off to get everything clean and then just stitched it up with the welder. Then you just put on the furnace cement. This furnace cement is designed to stick to steel. And this steel structure is strong enough to hold everything together. Then the furnace cement seals it all up. So it takes about five or 10 minutes to weld it up. Then you heat up that exhaust pipe and then just spread it on. Silicon silicate is called liquid glass. Sometimes you can get this in black instead of tan and it just blends right in. Now this can irritate your skin, so you do wanna use gloves. And this stuff handles heat like a champ. 2000 degrees, no problem. And this system gets nowhere near that. Now if you put some black spray paint on there, you won't even see it. Now there's all kinds of other things you can try. You might wanna take some JB Weld and put it on there. But if you put it on before the catalytic converter, it's just gonna burn right off. It might last a couple days and smell terrible. Now sometimes this silicone will work, it doesn't stick that well and it kind of blows through, but I have had it work in some cases. But the silicon silicate works. Now, if your hole is behind a catalytic converter, that opens a lot more options up. The heat is much lower behind the catalytic converter. You could take some Bondo, put it on a plastic bag. This will give you a nice even coating. This repair is almost invisible and will last two or three years. Now a hole may blow out in another area. You can do the same repair or just decide to put a whole new muffler on. For me, a patch like this works, I'll save the 300 bucks. With these techniques, I haven't put an exhaust system on any of our cars for about 20 years. And yes, we've got all kinds of state inspections. One time the mechanic saw it and just laughed. He still passed the car because it's sealed. If the exhaust holds a pressure test, it passes. And a little black paint, and you don't even see it. And some of you guys are gonna say, why don't you just do it right? Do it right the first time. For five or 10 bucks, this is holding pressure, even at high temperatures. Now at any time, if I wanna start taking this car to a car show, well sure, I'll take that, put a new exhaust system on it, and start taking it to the car show. And instead of having somebody put a new muffler on for three or 400 bucks, a welder costs about $100. And I'm sure if you work at a muffler shop, you're gonna take a look at this and just laugh. But just think, the more people that know how to do this, the less people that are gonna go to the muffler shop. Now there's never a day that I don't learn something new. And if you've got some ideas on how to extend your exhaust system, I'd love to hear about it. Or if you totally disagree and you just wanna give me heck for it, go ahead and leave the comments down below. I could take it. Well, anyway, if you have an exhaust leak before or after the catalytic converter, here's a few techniques that I've used that work. Well, I really appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.